Hello, and welcome to Let's Play SimCity 4. With me, Get Daved. Attempt 3. Hopefully everything on my computer is done crashing and freezing, and we can get this Let's Play going. And this statement will seem entirely out of context for you. So, we started a new region called Get Davedia, because that is how I roll. And, uh, now we're just going to do a bit of quick terraforming. Now, terraforming kind of makes your, uh, area look a bit interesting. I like to add a little bit of texture to the land, even though a perfectly flat piece of land is probably the easiest to build on. I'm also going to be doing uh, just a small city the first first time. Uh, out in the region, I'm sure you saw that the plots of land were different ti or different sizes. You can think of those as uh, just different sizes of, you know, city. Like, we'll never be able to build L.A. inside just such a tiny plot, but we might be able to get, like, Podunk. Um, so that's fun for you. And we're just going to do a little tiny lake like this, maybe, and that'll be fun that it goes into the next tile. We can use this button, Reconcile Edges, to make the edge of this... Uh, region the same as the next region. It's the first one I'm terraforming, so we're not going to do that. So, uh... This looks really, you know, interesting, so... no, We'll have a little tiny river coming out of here. Again, I like to make Bob Ross jokes, perhaps too often, but this is seriously an appropriate time to make one. We're just going to add a little stream going through here. Alright. And, you know, it should meander a little bit, so that's what we're going to put in. I think it's got a really good terraforming mode. The grade was a little too steep in those parts, at least for, for my mind. I'm not imagining this as a canyon. Alright. So, isn't that beautiful? Oh, jeez, what have I done? Ugh. <laughs> oh. There's no control Z in this. Control Z. Control Zedge to people uh, on the inside club. So, that will take me a little while to fix, actually. I was pretty happy. Why couldn't I have left it alone? Yeah. Little inlet. Little peninsula. And, uh, a special thank you to everyone who told me what an ismus is. Uh, I know now, so, you know, if you were thinking of watching my Civ 4 Let's Play and then, <laughs> insert plug for self, if you're thinking of watching my Civ 4 Let's Play, and one of them I ask what a string of land that can... I, it's an Ismus, I know. Please, don't tell me anymore. Uh, someone beat you to it. Alright, so the land's looking pretty good for me. You know, all natural and such. With a suddenly terminating lake. Let's fix that. We want this to be a healthy lake, so we need to have water going out of it, and then we'll develop it more on the adjacent tile, maybe. Alright, um, let's plant some trees. You can do, like, erosion effects and a lot more. The terraforming mode is actually really quite deep, uh, and really great, so feel free to have a lot of fun with that. Um, I know you didn't hear it, but I was making wee sounds the last four minutes. Alright, that's looking pretty good to me. Uh, so we're going to enter Mayor Mode and start Get Davidville. I'm playing on easy, easy difficulty, because uh, for your first city, for reasons we will discuss, you should start on easy. And then, if you want to go to hard, go to it later. But you want to have neighboring cities and stuff first. Unless you want the extreme challenge, in which case... Uh, start a large city on hard with no neighboring cities and no development in your entire region. Um, first things first, because I've had a couple crashes already, we're gonna save. 
All right, let's rock and roll, everybody. If you want to destroy the world, use this tab. But we want a mayor. First things first, now, there's a lot of different processes for setting up your city at first. I am going to start with roads, actually. And I do mean roads, not streets. There's a difference. Roads can handle more traffic, but are more expensive to maintain. And your city advisors will get mad at you for building too many roads, and they're going to be yelling at me. I, uh, I'm just going to be building all of these as pipelines out of this city. Um, you might notice that not a lot of cities use this as a zoning method. Like, in your neighborhood, can you honestly take any street and, you know, drive it out of town? I don't think so. But uh, that's how we're doing it, because... Well, this is less work in the long run. I'll never have to come back and pay attention to these again until we have traffic problems that I haven't structured the city for. Again, if you're if you're really picky about doing everything really, really pro, uh, my style is not for you. I like to do things so that, uh, you know, I don't really have to pay attention anymore. I'm not really a details guy. If you've watched my other Let's Plays, you know that. Alright, so we've got a pretty good uh, grid system built up here. There will still probably be some little streets that the computer tries building, but I like to have a, a pretty good grid to start things off. Next things up, primary utilities. If you're... actually, I'm going to backpedal for a second. If you're intending on playing this game on high difficulty settings, like medium or hard, um, you will have to do things way more slow paced than I'm going. I'm in a hurry, because i got fraps running and it's could collapse at any moment. It could crash this program at any moment. Uh, which kind of makes us like Jason Bourne. So let that add some suspense to your life. I'm going to be doing things in a kind of a sloppy manner. So get used to it. Um, and, and I know this, so just so we're all on the same page. Uh, I like to start off with wind power to keep the hippies happy, even though I'm sure they're grinding up birds left and right in those turbines. Um, next things up. Again, if you're playing on hard, you're not going to want to skip straight to the water pump. You're going to want to start with the water tower and slowly work your way up. Uh, I like to build a water tower. It uses an aquifer, so you don't need to uh, build it uh, by a source of water. Um, because aquifers never run out of water. And we can pipe water lines, or water pipes, I guess they call them these days, uh, to other cities as well. It's a good idea, especially on higher difficulties, or, you know what, always. You want to be able to sell your utilities to neighboring cities. And that's actually one of the big reasons why it's easier to... Uh, not have your first city on hard difficulty because you want to be able to sell off your uh, ex excess utilities so you can just, you know, design for a larger city and have good times. And get a bit more distance in there, so I'm going to. Blue regions have water as a utility. I like to set up all my pipes because, you know, all things considered, they're pretty cheap to maintain. I think roads are pretty cheap to maintain too, but again, really, uh, Hardcore Sim City or is Sims, I guess. I don't know. What, what was I thinking with that degree of slope? Uh, you know, anyone who's really into Sim games and really likes to do a good, awesome job and manage everything correctly will be shocked and appalled by all the infrastructure I'm building when there's nothing there. And again, higher difficulties, you can't really get away with this the same way. You have to go slower. I'm going to be doing absurd things like not building any farmland. Because farmland is for suckers. Um, and food is for suckers. Let's not forget that detail. Um, Alright, I think we're pretty good. We're selling our resources in all four directions. So, now what you all came for. The zoning! Residential is 
in many ways the most important one. I like to cut to the chase and zoom, zone at least medium density. Um, they can be they can be just you know standalone homes like maybe you live in, or they can be uh, medium rise apartments, but no high rises. This will be like Ithaca, New York, not New York, New York. Uh, commercial is always good. Again, medium density. I think there's a bit more of a place for low density commercial. There needs to be somewhere. There needs to be 7-Elevens out there. Also, be sure to enjoy the uh, beautiful commentary and also beautiful music in this game. Most of the tracks are winners in my opinion. We'll build some high, high density industrial and medium density industrial. And finally, Civic Service. I'm going to cut straight to a small police station, because uh, they have jail cells, uh, and we'll be needing those. Small fire station is pretty good. It actually covers a pretty decent area of influence, the small fire station. Like, the smallest police kiosk does nothing, okay? But uh, big fire station, or er, small fire stations, yeah, quite impressive, I think. Also, we need to start with at least an elementary school, uh, just to improve the gravity of our city. Uh, you need to pull in some people. Especially, there's no cities around us. This is the first city in the region, so we really need to have more pull than normal. Once you have adjacent cities, people will immigrate on their own pretty nicely. And finally, a medical clinic will do for now. Hospitals can handle quite a bit, so... As a matter of fact, for a city this size, you might be able to get away with one hospital for the entire city. Uh, it's a nice little thing. Alright, I'm just going to zone one more thing, a medium density uh, residential. You don't have to build power lines in this game. If you're only familiar with SimCity for Super Nintendo, you'll be wondering where all the power lines are. Unnecessary! Um, because power is transmitted through adjacent uh, zones, so that's nice. I'm going to cut things here because I'm afraid of a crash, but I'll see you next time on Let's Play SimCity 4, where we're going to hit play and watch it grow. I'll see you there.